What is up? What is up? What's up? This is your boy Fearless Eagle right here on What's the Topic. Yes, to you listening to this, I would really love to appreciate the fact that you are lending me your ears. Yes, taking the time to listen to What's the Topic, in other words. So thank you very much for the fact that you are listening to What's the Topic. And do make sure that you share the word out there, share the shows. Do the most, yes. Right, you're not the topic, you're part of the family. It's me and you doing what we're doing together. Yeah. Today's topic is going to be really interesting. Yes. Very interesting topic. And yeah, it just came out of, you know, a memory that I had back then. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that can relate. (laughs) Like, yeah. It's a question that even myself have asked. You know, somewhere back there in my life, I actually, you know, I was wondering and then I asked the question. So the topic of the show today is where did school come from? Mm -hmm. Where did school come from? Now, this obviously comes from people who don't like school. (laughs) Uh, To be honest, right now, I have nothing against school. In fact, School is amazing, it's awesome, and you know, education, everything, yeah, like what you get, it's it's really beneficial, and you do need stuff like that, but obviously back then, when you're in the school system, you feel like this is torture, and you're like, no, this school thing is not working for me, because I want to do other things, but yeah, that's the type of mindset I had back then, so yeah, like I said, topic is where did school come from? And yeah, we're definitely going to be looking at where did school come from and what was happening, like what got school to actually get implemented. Yes, you know, the whole education system and everything. What caused it to get implemented? So that's what we're going to look at. But before we do that, I'm going to give you an awesome track, an awesome jam that you're going to enjoy. Yes, Mm -hmm. right here on Master Topic, you know how we do it. Choose the tracks for you. (laughs) I'm even running out. Out of words for you. Yeah, no, not not words. I'm running out of breath. Yeah. So, here's the track. Enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, let me know afterwards. Yeah. The Ministry of Reconciliation. It's not all up to him. He's invested in us what is necessary to make effective change in others. Effective change in our families, effective change in our neighborhoods, effective change in our cities. I look at the city of Philadelphia right now. I was just telling somebody, a lot of people, when they see me on a train, they ask me, Truth, what you doing on a train? They can't understand why I catch the train and I catch the bus. And I can't explain it to all of them. (laughs) But the reason why I still catch the train and I catch the bus is because it helps me to stay connected. Helps me to stay connected to what's going on in the city. Helps me to stay connected to what's going on in urban life. So that I know I stay sharp in thinking about how to effectively minister to them. And I look at the city of Philadelphia right now, my heart beats and burns like never before. Like never, ever before. I mean, maybe when I was like 16, that's the last time my heart burned like this for my city. But my heart literally burns for my city. Where next year, I'm going to be grinding. I'm going to be rallying up the troops. And we're going to take it outside of the unplugged atmosphere. And we're going right into the thick of it. We're going to be incarnational, for real. We're not just going to throw the, throw the word, word around because it's popular. We're not just going to throw, throw the missional word around because it's popular. We're going to roll up our sleeves and we're going to actually be, not just talk. And so I pray that we have this mind that God has given us the grace to be. (laughs) The grace to be what people need. When we walk into a room, there's a treasure in us that the world needs. There's a light in us that the world needs that dispels the darkness. 
Blessed are those, the Bible says, who snatches their brother out of the gates of the depths of hell. Think about that. Now, if you were to just say that without reading that in the scriptures, you would think that's blasphemy. You don't have the power to snatch somebody out of hell. That's what the Bible says in the book of James. Blessed are the brothers that take the initiative, see another person headed in the wrong direction and fights for them to snatch them out. Because we can change the world. 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 Power's in you. Power's in you. Power's in you. Oh, the power's in you. Power of the resurrection, power of God is at work in us, through us, to make effective change. We can change the world. Oh, 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 oh yeah. We can change the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't enjoy it, yeah. Let me know why you didn't enjoy it. Um, was it slow, fast? Why didn't you enjoy it? Yes. So, diving into this whole situation, you know, the whole topic and everything. Where did school come from? Now, I'm in the shoes where I'm like, okay. Have you ever wondered why was school created? Hmm? Have you? Because I have back then. And I even asked the question, why? Where? <laughs> and you know statements like, whoever they created school. Yo, yo, yo. If I meet that person. <laughs> yeah, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah. Have you ever wondered why was school created? Have you ever wondered who invented the first school? Because I have. It's like if I meet that person, me and that person are going to go down as in it's going to be a fist fight. That was me. Oh, have you ever wondered? Have kids in the United States always have to go to school? Like, have, have they always had to go to school? Have, have kids all over the world? You know, in fact, <laughs> everywhere around the world, has school been compulsory? You know, is it a must and all those stuff? But yeah, you know, the first two questions for me are, uh, yeah, like the main, the, the main focus for me because I've had those, you know, who invented the first school, who actually invent, invented school and why was school created? Where did it come from? You know, that's the question that I've always had. Now, why was school created? We show that a question that every student asks from time to time is this one. Why was school created? Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, test days <laughs> when the test is tough. Like, yo, I that test was tough. Why was school created? <laughs> you know, and yeah, many students actually wonder, you know, exactly why <laughs> they are subjected to such cruel or unusual punishment. You know, I actually saw school as a punishment for myself. You know, I'm just going to speak on a personal level. With myself, I was never a fan of school. When I was in school, I never loved school. I never liked school. I felt like it was torture. And at the same time, I felt like I had a lot of dreams that I wanted to achieve, you know, things that I wanted to initiate and get started, you know, and done with that I wasn't able to do. Why? Because of school. Even career-wise, I was like, yo, I, I want to do this. And I can't do it. Why? Because I'm still in school. And for me, school, I always did it because my parents wanted me to be in school finish school and yeah <laughs> so i wanted to finish school for the sake of my parents it's like hey okay to be honest you know right here in south africa like i'm here in Gauteng, you know the Gauteng province johannesburg right here it's rough eh? for some people leaving school is not an option like literally you you in school you know hey <laughs> if i skip to, like just one day if i skip a day at school I'm going to get a hiding. 
yes, I'm going to get a whipping that I'll never forget from my parents. So you, like missing one day already is not an option. So you're not even thinking of missing one day. That's literally the state this side. Like that's actually the position most people are in this side. You know, so that's why me, myself, I was like, uh, you know what, I'm just going to finish school because my parents asked me to finish school. And then after that, I'm doing whatever I want. That's the mindset that I was in. And like I said, I had that mindset of it's, it's preventing me from achieving what I want to achieve in terms of career, dreams, the things that I wanted to do. But, you know, school itself, you know, in fact, let, let's say education, it goes back, you know, <laughs> to the very first human beings, you know, the very first humans that ever existed on Earth. And yeah, probably you're wondering why. Hey, I hear what you're saying. I, I hear all of these things. But my question is, why, 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 why? <laughs> the answer, the, yeah, the answer. Ooh. Okay, we, we have gone back to, you know, creating <laughs> words on <laughs> what's the topic. Yes, you know, it's been a while since we were creating words. So, yeah, I'm glad we went back to creating words. It's about time we went back to creating words, you know. Our roots, if I can put it that way, yeah. It's me and you's roots. You know, we create things here on what's the topic. It's not just me alone, yes? Or is it just me alone? If it's just me alone, let me know. Okay, yeah, I'm actually, you know, going away from the topic. So, the answer to why, you know, <laughs> education actually goes back to the first humans that ever existed on the earth is simple. The answer is to survive. Yes, to survive. Every generation has found it necessary to pass, you know, to pass on its knowledge, skills, values, traditions, you know, to the next generation. So they teach, you know, they pass on every single thing that, you know, they know about their tradition and all the stuff to the next generation. And that's obviously to survive, you know, to make sure they preserve their, inher their, their heritage, that's for some people, traditions, you know, things like that. And how can they do this? Education. Yes, goes back to school. <laughs> so it's funny. Hey? I know, like, the one thing that most of us would actually say no, like, we, we don't like, it's <laughs> the fact that school, the school system is there, you know. We're like, okay, it's fine. We don't mind, you know, parents passing on all of these things. But why is school there, you know? Why is that school system there? So that's, that's like, always our battle, you know. The great fight that causes great debate and all that stuff. But yeah, the reason why it was... The, in fact, the reason why it exists is for survival, you know, passing on generational, you know, traditions, skills, heritages, you know, all those different things. There's different cultures, so they pass on their stuff. And for you to pass on to the next person, the next person needs to learn from you and you need to teach. It's funny how you actually teach people every day. So, yeah, there's a lot. Plus, looking at, you know, an individual as well, you know, a, a normal human being. I mean, you, you teach people every day and you yourself need to learn stuff every single day. So, you do need school. Even myself, I do need school. Hence why I said when I was in school, I did not like school. I felt like torture. It's another thing that I've noticed, you know, when we in specific situations we tend not to see how important you know what we in is we only realize it after we only realize it after which yeah for me it's like uh, could have realized earlier you know while i was in the situation or before you know that and all the stuff so yeah sometimes we wonder what's next you know tomorrow's wonders of <laughs> every day you know features the colors of the rainbows and more you know some people in school that's their worries and all the stuff but yeah with ourselves we're probably wondering yeah you know <laughs> school nah that's definitely not for me and yeah to be honest i think now our time 
the guys that are in school now they actually have a nice life i mean you even doing online schooling and all that stuff some of us we didn't have that privilege you know we didn't have the privilege to do online schooling and all those things yes had to go to school you know they even fought with us on a saturday to go to school and we fighting not to go to school and then yeah if they could they would even take our sunday so we're probably going to go seven days but yeah you can't take a sunday we need to <laughs> leave that day you know to the lord dedicated to the lord and yeah to everything but yeah that was actually some of us now we got online schooling you know stuff like that which i think is actually better but the people that are in the situation now most of them tend to take it for granted like i said when you're in the situation you tend to take it for granted not realizing what you actually have so if you do take it for granted i think it's about time you re assess the whole situation and actually start not taking it for granted mm-hmm. so yeah schools are very recent in our situations and if we go back you know hundreds of years ago back you know like yeah back 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 you know before a lot of things like your agricultural stuff that were created you know so obviously when you look at the whole school system it's like a recent stuff and yeah like it's it's not that far back if you go back in time with the school system and everything you know began and all those things so when you look at the whole system and everything it gradually came into being in your europe and there was in your early 16th uh, century going into the 19th century and then in america in the mid 17th uh, century that's where now you know your whole school system and all the stuff became the first uh, colony to yeah you know ma- maintain schooling and all the stuff so literally day in uh, america that's what was happening but it all began you know in your europe in the 16th century that's literally what went down and then you know the whole school system education system actually yeah came into being like it gradually came slowly and everything and then eventually bam it's there and now we know hey, you need to go to school you know to get a degree you need to go to school for this and for that so that's where school came from and yeah back then in those times before that obviously yeah people were hunting and all those stuff i believe there was still there was still school but the way they taught was different they didn't do it within a building and all those stuff material and all those things they didn't do it like that but they actually taught you know they are generations they are kids you know they they are siblings stuff like that uh, friends you know neighbors they did teach them there was an element of teaching and learning so school has always been there you have to learn in order for you to in fact let me put it this way for you to use something properly you need to learn how to use it if you don't know how to use it and for you to know how to use it you need to learn so school has always been there yes from the first human beings that existed on the planet yes so it has always been there that's when it came into existence but the whole school system you know building structures curriculums and all the stuff yeah started coming into your 16th uh, century right there in Europe so that's literally what went down for those who don't like school yeah reassess the whole situation and start liking school start loving school because it's really amazing and awesome But before I speak more cuz we are about to close the show I'm going to give you an awesome amazing track and then we're going to close enjoy this <laughs>
yeah yeah i really do hope you enjoyed that this is myself fearless eagle i'm about to love you and leave you yes if it's good morning to you good morning if it's good evening to you good evening if it's good afternoon good afternoon if it's good night good night now you can go and sleep make sure you share the shows out there for myself fearless eagle i'm loving you and leaving you i hope you have a great one and yeah make sure you stay safe you know spread the good news out there and yeah positively impact someone to love school yes because school is something that you should treasure i mean gives you valuable stuff you know that you can use in life and all those things i know there's a lot of pros and cons you know when it comes to school but forget those things and actually treasure the whole system use it wisely empower yourself fill yourself with knowledge upskill yourself and do the most so for myself fearless eagle i'm gonna love you and leave you peace out and god bless like what you're listening to follow us on gab and twitter at active fm instagram at active fm triple seven and facebook at forward slash active fm Yeah,